Hey guys, when I was on South Padre Island back 2022 and 2023, I needed a bag that I thought would work for me that was, you know, water resistant. And it was basically, I wanted something that would cross over and I got lucky. Um, I got a hold of this company called Wander, W-A-N-D-R-D, wander.com. I like that accent. And uh, I purchased what I think is a really great bag, either for photography or as a fanny pack for fly fishing. Now, the, the downside of this bag is that um, it's lined on the inside for cameras, so you don't want any flies to get loose. I'm not, I didn't ever got any stuck in there, but I'm sure you would get small flies stuck in the, in the lining. But other than that, this is the 9L in a tan color. Let me just show you. Uh, this great bag by Wander. It's 9L fanny pack. They call it a sling because you can sling it too. Really great. All right, first off, just start it right here. Great, great holds right here. So photography, this holds like my Z9 and a long lens. I mean, lots of room in the 9L. Back zipper back here and the very back right there. Now when you get inside this area, it's just a, a, a waterproof lining in there and it's got some extra pocket thing right there inside. It's pretty great, pretty great. I don't get paid by these guys. Uh, this is a, I paid full price and now they run about 159. This is the tan color. I think it's called Yuma Tan. And uh, so that's the color and that helps too. It's not black or any of those stupid colors that other fanny pack makers and, and camera bag makers make. They got several colors. Wander.com. All right, on top, great, great hold right there. I carried my bag like this as much as I carried it on my waist or any other or over the shoulder, but it, it goes over the shoulder. So you get inside, there's your insides. So that's pretty, pretty awesome, I think. This is set up now for camera and it's got the dividers and all that in it, but you can see that on the inside, you could put everything you need and then some, there's a smaller size too and then some for uh, a fly fishing bag. Look at here, another zip right here. This is amazing. It's amazing that they put this much and it's 159. Right now, I think really, and you can probably get 10% off or something for signing up. I would do that just straight off the bat if you're looking for a fanny pack. I've got another video coming on another type of pack that I've, I've kind of assembled, kind of a rig deal that um, you're gonna dig that too. But anyway, that's the inside. Inside, look, more, 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 more. It's got more separate little compartments, like slide-ins right here. It's an incredible bag. I mean, they just really well thought out. Like I said, don't get paid for this. Okay, now, the only thing I, uh, I suggested to these guys was to change their zippers, even though, but uh, I'm telling you, these zippers are pretty good. I was on South Padre Island using this bag for six months and on the jetties, getting wet at night, night fishing and all that stuff, the zippers held up without any lubrication. But they do, if you do need to think about what you need in the way of a zipper. These are, these are, the, these are good zippers, they're just not great. I mean, they're, they're not, if you're down there year after year, you might lose a zipper. Front side opening right there, there you go. Little side there for, for some other thing. There's another strap and that goes there. Of course on the front, you can also undo these guys right here, put something on the front here, right there like that. Now this just gets better. It just gets better. This is what's cool. This thing just gets better. All right, here we go. Underneath, more goodies. Right here. There's that. What you do with this, you run your monopod or tripod or, or a tube for your uh, fly rod. Run under here, loop it over, hook it up, and you got it. Pretty cool. And I think, yep, there's there's another there's your another opening right there. So you can go either you can go this way and cinch it, whatever you want to do. Guys, this is a great bag for photographers and for fly fishers. If you like to walk and wade, 
this is what you need, something like this. Or, then, you know, there's this other thing I'm working on that I'll show you as soon as I have all the pieces and parts for it. But this one, ready made, ready to go. The other one's a little bit more jinky. Um, I think I even missed a couple of compartments, but I don't know where they are. This thing is just low, oh, right here. Right here on the bottom. There's another one. Goes in the back side, right here. So you got one on top, one on the bottom. See the one on top's right back here on the back side. Wandered. I'm gonna put a link in the description. This company, the link, if I can find one, will be one I get a cut. I don't care. I like to get a cut. I know you guys don't care a lot about products, but I like them sometimes. Give you a little taste of something different. Wandered. Wandered. Photographers, this is it. Great stuff, and they have all kinds of bags for you guys. Uh, for you guys at Fly Fish, hey, this is the stuff right here. I think this is a good one. Nice. Look at the support on here. Very thick. So you're in good shape there. I think there's even uh, there's something. Yeah, there's a thing up there. <laughs> I discover new stuff on this bag every time I pick it up. Great straps. Great um, latches on the straps. You know, reflective, wandered, wander.com. Give it a go. See what you think. Lots of colors, which is very unusual. Fly fishing usually has one color and one color only. So that choice alone is worth the price of admission. Thanks for watching, guys. Wander.com. Let me know how you like this video. Like and subscribe. More reviews of odds and ends coming up in this spring as we move into summer.